how to show different banner image on mobile and desktop in Shopify. Hi guys and welcome to this Shopify tutorial. So if you are a Shopify user and you sell products on Shopify and you want your Shopify store to have a different banner image on mobile and desktop, for that you will have to basically first open your PC and then head over to your Shopify's dashboard. So this is my Shopify store right now. I have added a banner video background. So if you want to add a banner video background just like this, you can check out another one of our video that is available on this channel only. So this is my Shopify store right now. And if I want to add a banner image that has a different image on mobile and different image on desktop, first of all, I will have to go to my Shopify's dashboard. So this is my Shopify dashboard. Here I have the option for home orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing discount, and online store and much more. So for this, click on the online store option and then you will be headed to the themes option. Here I can set a lot of themes. So first off, you will have to choose a theme where you can add an image. So choose any one of these themes, click on online store, then you will be headed to themes and in the themes, click on the three dotted icon right here and click on edit code option and then you will be promoted to edit your themes file here you will have a lot of options right here we have layout templates sections snippets config assets and locales but we are not going to delve deep into all these things we are basically going to copy a code from one place and paste it in this theme file so i will show you a quick way on how you can do that without any coding knowledge for that, first of all, go to the search file option under your codings and search for section dash image. So make sure you type in section dash image and then under the assets, you will see an asset that is named as section image banner dot CSS. So here we can see that we can add a custom CSS in the theme editor. So basically you will have to come to this section image banner dot CSS and then simply scroll to the most down of this code so scroll down as much as you can and you will see the end of this code here at the end place your cursor and then simply click on the link in the bio to get to a website that is paste pin so this is the exact site i'm talking about you will have to come to this site or you can also just simply go to the desktop of my youtube video that you're watching right now and simply click on the link that is mentioned and copy this link from the start to the end. So just scroll down and copy all these codes. Right click, click on copy. Go back to your Shopify's editing section and place your cursor at the most down of this code and right click, click on paste. And that code that we just copied from there will be copied in this section image dash banner dot CSS. And that will help us to accomplish what we are going to do. Now, click on the save button at the top right corner. After you click on save, click on the exit button and then click on the online stores, then you'll be headed to theme. Make sure you select the same theme that we've just added the CSS code into. Click on the customize button just after that theme. And here you'll have to click on add section under the templates. Click on add section, click on add section and select image banner. After that, we'll have the option to add an image banner. And in this, you will have to click on the image of the background image that we are just seeing right here. You can alternatively delete all these useless things that is on this image if you want to. So after deleting out all this, we will go back to our image banner. Click on the image banner and basically simply you will have to and simply you will have to just select two images that you want to show on desktop and mobile so the first image that you're going to choose will be shown on the desktop and the second image will be for mobile users so i'll repeat if you select the first image for anything it will be shown on a desktop and if you select second image by clicking here it will display on your mobile device Click on select image or you can also alternatively explore free stock images. Click on explore free image and select the type of image that you want to explore. For example, I want to explore nature and select an image. Click on select and this image will be set as the image banner of my website for all the desktop devices that will be visiting my Shopify store. 
Now selecting the second image, this is the section that I will be choosing the image for my mobile phones. Click on select image and for example if I select this image, click on done. So any user that will be accessing my website through mobile phone will have to view this second image. This image will be shown to my mobile users and this to my desktop users. So after doing all these settings, go back, click on the save button at the top right corner. And here we can see that if I set this to my desktop view, the image banner right here is looking something like this. And if I set it at mobile, it is now looking like this and I have successfully changed the image banner on my mobile and my desktop. You can see the desktop view. If I select it to mobile view, it's looking something like this. So the image changes to my second image that I'm choosing under my image banner. This will be the desktop. You can see right here and this will be the mobile. You can see it right here in this mobile preview. Well, that's a wrap up for today's tutorial on how to show different banner image on mobile and desktop in Shopify. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Remember, your product category pages play a vital role in shaping the shopping experience for your customers. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow Shopify store owners. Also, let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in future. And as always, if you want more valuable e-commerce insights, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any exciting future tutorials on e-commerce and much tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye and happy selling on Shopify.